In the book Hiroshima by John Hersey, we are transported to the devastating aftermath of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, Japan, during World War II. Through the poignant stories of six survivors, the author provides a human perspective on the catastrophic impact of nuclear warfare. Our discussions have explored the themes of the book, including the resilience of the survivors, the long-term effects of the bombing, and the importance of peace and understanding. This clip will summarize our conversations and shed light on the enduring lessons from Hiroshima. In Chapter 1, we were introduced to the six main characters, ordinary individuals living in Hiroshima on that fateful day. Miss Tashiko Sasaki, Dr. Masakazu Fuji, Mrs. Hatsuyo Nakamura, Father Wilhelm Kleinsorge, Dr. Terafumi Sasaki, and Reverend Kiyoshi Tanimoto were individuals with hopes, dreams, and struggles. Through their personal stories, Hersey humanized the survivors and emphasized the profound impact of war on innocent civilians. This portrayal reminds us that behind the statistics and numbers are real people with families and aspirations. Chapter 2 brought us face to face with the immediate aftermath of the bombing. The devastation and chaos that ensued were unimaginable. The survivors were thrust into a nightmarish world of destruction and suffering. Yet, amidst the horror, their resilience and determination to survive shone through. The chapter provided a visceral understanding of the immense human toll of nuclear warfare and highlighted the urgent need for peace and prevention of such tragedies in the future. Chapter 3 explored the confusion and guilt that followed the bombing. The survivors and the Japanese authorities struggled to comprehend the scale of the disaster. Dr. Masakazu Fuji's feelings of guilt and responsibility for not preventing the bombing were a result of survivors' guilt. As an individual, he could not have influenced or stopped such a catastrophic event. This highlights the complexity of individual feelings amidst the overwhelming consequences of war. Chapter 4 delved into the personal backgrounds of the survivors before the bombing. Through their individual histories, the book emphasized the humanity of the characters, regardless of nationality or background. The positive portrayal of the characters does not excuse or absolve Japan's actions during the war, but serves to underscore the impact of war on ordinary people. This section revealed that the survivors were ordinary individuals with dreams and aspirations, making their suffering even more poignant. Chapter 5 explored the long-term effects of the atomic bomb on the survivors and Hiroshima itself. The physical and emotional toll was immense, with many suffering from radiation sickness and long-term health issues. The chapter emphasized that the consequences of war extend far beyond the immediate destruction and continue to impact lives long after the fighting has ceased. In the final chapter, we witnessed the survivors' efforts to rebuild their lives and the city of Hiroshima. Despite the immense challenges, they displayed resilience and determination to move forward. Their experiences inspired them to advocate for peace and understanding. Reverend Kiyoshi Tanimoto and Father Wilhelm Kleinsorge became advocates for nuclear disarmament, sharing their experiences to raise awareness about the devastating impact of nuclear weapons. The discussions on Hiroshima have illuminated the profound impact of nuclear warfare on humanity. Through the human stories of survivors, John Hersey has reminded us of the horrors of war and the urgent need for peace and understanding among nations. The lessons from Hiroshima are timeless and resonate even today. The survivors' resilience and determination serve as a poignant reminder of the enduring human spirit, capable of healing and finding hope even in the darkest of times. As we look to the future, let us draw inspiration from the stories of Hiroshima and work together to create a world free from the devastating consequences of war and nuclear weapons.